so as we just heard, I'm going to talk to you about natural intelligence for autonomy and vision. Um, but first, let me tell you a little bit about Opteran. So we're a new Alliance member company. We joined last year. Um, our purpose is to reverse or re-engineer re nature's algorithms to create a software brain that enables machines to perceive, behave, and adapt more like natural creatures. And we're an award-winning business. In fact, we won the Vision Tank Audience Choice last year, uh, Robotics Business Review, Top 50 Innovation Award, um, and a number of other things featured in Wired, New Scientist, BBC, et cetera, et cetera. So we're getting a lot of um, uh, recognition for bringing a new approach to autonomy. What problem do we solve? Well, this is a really nice quote from a few years ago from a post-mortem by the CEO of Starsky Robotics. This was the first autonomous truck company. And the company ultimately failed. And he, in, in writing this post-mortem, he said that supervised ML doesn't live up to the hype. It isn't actual artificial intelligence akin to C3PO. It's a sophisticated pattern matching tool. So for autonomy, machine learning is really insufficient and there's all kinds of safety engineering, edge cases, et cetera, you have to deal with around that. Plurality of sensors and so on and so forth just to make the thing actually function robustly enough to be safely used which is not where the public uh, imagination thinks that, that the technology really is. And Ger Kimchi, who founded the Amazon Prime Air Business Unit, he's actually advisor for Opteran, he's on our board as an advisor, says there are two ways of approaching autonomy, photogrammetry and AI, Opteran's approach is a third way. So we call this approach natural intelligence, and you'll see why in a second. It's also referred to as third wave AI um, in some areas.